Overzeal Gaming. Welcome everyone to a very humor-bound episode of Overzeal Gaming. You don't know that. It's you don't know Jack. Good times are nearly guaranteed. Is that, is that a legal thing? I'm guarantee? sure. It, I'm sure it's in their legal print somewhere. But if you got like Ben Stein, Vin Diesel, and and like the guy from Act Alan, Inside the Alan Actors Rickman. Studio, yeah, this is I would love to see them play this game. They'd probably be like battle. this game. It's hilarious. But you've set the bar pretty high now. Yeah, I know, now right? We have to have fun. You know why? It'd be funny because we're playing the newest yeah. game of you don't know That's fucking right. Jack. Oh. This game anyway. Well, the one I was playing at my friend's house was pretty much in the new TV show Blossom. <laughs> Blossom is played by which actress? <laughs> Shelley Long. So for <laughs> for anyone who has not uh, experienced the madness that is You Don't Know Jack, it is a trivia game with multiple choice answers that you buzz in, and even when you get it wrong, it's hilarious. So don't be too worried about that. Tor so. <laughs> <laughs> if it happened before 1990, it didn't exist for her. I wasn't bored. Well, I wasn't a lot. Well, no, that's not right. Let's not I get into semantics of her. of the world around me because I was 10. All right. So today it's myself, Ishida Zazil, and my two good friends, Mr. Tom Savage and Victoria. Hi. How are you doing today? That's good. All right. I guess everybody's in. Let's play. Yay. This is the oh. new 2015 You Don't Know Jack that came with a bunch of other party games that we're going to do more videos of at some other point. Lovely. Oh, there's screws in this game? Yeah! How do you use a screw? I'm sure there's a button for it. Well, they're explaining it now, so shut up. Oh, they got this too. Except for mating season. So if you see a, a, a raw, an answer that matches that clue, click it for even more points than if you had actually gotten it correct. Here we go. <laughs> to begin with, booty full. <laughs> Let's analyze one of Kim Kardashian's body parts. About what percentage of Kim Kardashian's brain is made up of water? 10%, 40%, 80%, or 100%? Player three? Um, excuse me. <laughs> Player two? Aww. Kim Kardashian's brain and everybody else's brain for that Yay! Time. Yay! About 80% water. There's water in my head? There's water in everything. Bags of mostly water. And I started. This game is going to prove how stupid I am. Oh my god, look at that. Oh boy, this is not Here's a good one. His acting is alright, alright, alright. So, you know how they called Matthew McConaughey's resurgence as an actor his McConaissance? <laughs> If Matthew McConaughey is currently experiencing a McConaissance, then what period of his life just ended? The McConaughey Dark Ages, the McConaughey Industrial Age, the McConaughey Middle Ages, or the McConaughey Enlightenment Day? Player three, what were you thinking there? Uh, I'm not good at this! All wrong, all wrong, all wrong! Fuck! Put her in the Middle Ages. Uh, the first occurred in Italy in the late 14th century, immediately following the Middle Ages. So the Meconnaissance would follow the Meconna Middle Ages. Damn it. Which is funny because most Renaissance sculptures also need to put on a damn shirt. <laughs> <laughs> How I audio and sync. If you get this one right, I'll rustle up some extra moolah for you. Arrange Basically, it's Sesame yeah. Sesame Street characters in order of fewest to most eyebrows. Oh, oh okay. Ernie the Count. Ernie Bert the Count. Um, Ernie the Count. The Count Bert Ernie or Ernie the Count Bert. Fewest to most. Player three. 
Oh, that was nice. <laughs> oh, come <laughs> on! Too? I watched anyway, that. Words. No, too late. <laughs> Damn it. Watch how easy this is. Ernie has no eyebrows at all, Bert has one long single eyebrow, and the Count has two. Two eyebrows! <laughs> oh. I thought they were referring to, like, thickest. Whoa. Damn. we all got some moves. Four. <laughs> Don't do that again! Duck, duck, swan? More like duck, duck, quan. <laughs> oh, God. I've never... Oh, my Inter God. Which character would they most likely shoot? Siegfried, Watch Leto, this show. Rothbard, I don't know. Player one, who's gonna get it? Player three, you're getting... You now have to answer. <laughs> Odette is a princess who has been turned into a swan. Damn it! Dynasty crew would probably fill her full of lead. <laughs> Fuck! <Hey! laughs> that backfired! Oh! It's like it's savagely murdered. I didn't kill you. I know, right? <laughs> okay. Why not try the man in the backwards yellow hat? It's a this or that. Oh, yay, I love these. Player three? That score oh. is embarrassing. You Player get to play this one. Make me proud. I'm going to read off seven things, and for each one, you tell me if it's an alleged antic by pop star Justin Bieber. Oh, oh joy. An antic by the classic children's book character, Curious George. Wait, I think I can do this. Justin Bieber, <laughs> okay. Press the square button. If it's Curious George, press the circle button. Now, the rest of you need to hear this. Lock in your answers before player three. If player three gets it wrong, I'll split up that cash to everyone who got it right. Alrighty then, here it comes. Peed in a mop bucket. Broke his leg falling from a fire escape. Arrested for falsely reporting a <laughs> house. Got high on ether. Got a bugle to an ostrich. <laughs> Went to a Brazilian brothel. I'm gonna say beaver and not the monkey. A couple of bananas short of a bunch. Hey! I got disconnected during that. You back in? Yeah. Yay. Are we all in the negative? Yep. <laughs> Player four is up front! <laughs> Which means it hasn't come up yet because it only appears at one point. Oh my god! Oh my god, Six is into such kinky bondage now. <laughs> this one's he likes Rock Six. Dumber Damn. There's Dumb and Dumber, and then there was Dumb and Dumberer, and then Dumb and Dumber 2. Makes perfect sense. Now, going back a few decades, there was The Odd Couple and The Odd Couple 2. So, if another remake of The Odd Couple used the superlative adjective, it would be called the blank couple. Oh. Odd, otter, honest, or honorist. Ready for this? Odd is the adjective, otter is the comparative adjective, and oddest is the superlative adjective. Did we all went for it, didn't we? Of course, everyone who made the original odd couple movie. We all totally went for it. I don't think I did. The fact that it brought that up first. Did that? One, two, and three. That's right, we went for it. <laughs> we all suck. Yeah! <laughs> Nailed it! Oh, wait, no, that was a thing? I totally just thought that yeah. was a superlative adjective. No, I, I know it wasn't, but I saw Otter. I'm like, oh, right after they so we all get a us. shit ton of points. Yeah, more oh. points than if you had actually gotten it correct. Oh. Yay! We pulled ourselves out of the red. Yeah, gotta take that player four. Yeah. Yeah, fuck you. The fucking cult Oh show. my god! This one's called <laughs> Let It Go. Fuck! Let It Go. Let It Go. Fuck! Let It Go. Let it go. <laughs> 
Kelvin, melt and die. 30 degrees Kelvin, 30 degrees Fahrenheit, 30 degrees Celsius, or 30 degrees Rankin. He's a snowman. I'm gonna let this one go by. What? Because I don't know. Player one, watch the time. I'm watching it. I'm watching it intently. Players two and three. You were wrong. 30 degrees is below freezing in Fahrenheit and insanely below freezing in Kelvin and Rankin. But it's pretty balmy in Celsius, about the equivalent of 86 degrees Fahrenheit. And I know, blah, 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 he can magically be saved. But I'm talking about <laughs> what would happen in the real world with a talking snowman. <laughs> what the heck are these? He's got things? a 6-1 and one as his backup man. Next up. Oh, is this the new one of these? Yup. I'm sorry, what now? In the mobile game, it's like Franklin Roosevelt, or no, Teddy Roosevelt, Frankenstein, Elephant, or Dracula. So which one of these is that? Whoops. Einstein was first spotted in 1879, the year he was born. Probably by a midwife or something over a century after Uranus was discovered and even longer after kangaroos and peanuts. Yay! <laughs> Einstein cried a lot because he left behind... That just sounds like such a long time ago. Players two and three? That answer has a hole in it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. That was a shark. I this one. Wine or lose. <laughs> I like wine. The Washington Redskins rebranded themselves with a non-offensive Redskins mascot. What could they be called? The Hypocrites. Washington Chardonnays, the Washington Malbecs, the Washington Pinot Blancs. Taking a stab in the dark on this one. Player three. Player two. <laughs> Blanc. White. No. I failed Player brunch, three. okay? This isn't going to go with dinner at all. Damn it. Here's where the money is. Chardonnay's, Pinot Blancs, and Rieslings are all white-skinned grapes, but the Malbec grape is red. Well, okay. we failed French, okay? All these guys. Is very offensive. Does anyone pass French here? I was marking French tests in grade 7. I hate you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Take a good look at. I want to lick and roll all night. A party every day. I'm on board with this. It depends on who I'm licking and rolling with. No, no, I would be licking you. That's how that works. Could he stick it when he kissed her? About five inches deep. About <laughs> Damn. Twenty inches deep or about thirty. Where is he kissing her exactly, though? Wherever you want. Okay. Player two. Sorry, no take backs. <laughs> Player one. <laughs> Guess not. Player three. An adult giraffe's tongue is on average about 18 inches Oh, that's what I get for not reading the fucking question. A woman's mouth, a giraffe tongue, Gene Simmons could stick it. Gene Simmons' neck grew to the length of an adult giraffe's. He may not even need women anymore. Oh my god! Oh, it's Jack Attack! What? Okay. I don't have an X button. You should have one on your screen. Oh, there you go. Ah, you already know the rules. You Bobby did it. Your house is <laughs> you weren't supposed to push it right away, but whatever. So, ma so that's the clue. Whenever the two clues match up with con with context. Oh, I know what this one is. <laughs> Mustard. Adobe. <laughs> AOL CDs. Ah, oh, damn it! Yeah. Oh, oh. Shit. No. Wait, I know what it no. is. I remember. I remember! Rock! No. You're ah, not supposed what, to scream the fucking that? answer out loud! Cards. Intestines. That'd be painful. Yeah. I rock at this game. game. I rock at it. The what? What? 
The Pueblo people. The Pueblo peoples? What the fuck is that? I don't know. <laughs> Do you know what it is? I guess we'll just let it go by. That's your <laughs> losing point. Oh, okay. Just try every answer. That'll work out for you. I do not. People who shouldn't throw stones? Oh, I get it. I, I don't know how to play this game. I'm not good at this stuff. <laughs> Light bulbs. Oh. Nailed it. Light bulbs are in class. Tape worms! Oh, Ew. I know this one. Ah, oh, fuck. Fucking input lag. Frank Underwood, metaphorically. I, I don't get this one. Adobe. <laughs> okay. Wait, what? That was real? I guess. I, I was gonna try and click on Adobe. Yeah! <laughs> Is this the final score of the game? Yeah. Victoria fails. No, I do not. It's the catchphrase. I suck at knowledge. <laughs> do I do another one? Yeah. Uh, next episode? I, I was going to ask. You guys like it? You yeah, want to keep going? Yeah, that was fun. Yeah. All right, let's hit up.